Hi everyone, so today I have this look inspired by these ears right here. So I called this a snow bunny look because I just wanted to wear these ears. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's mostly very red themed and I think this look is fairly simple. So if you guys want to figure out how to do this look, then please keep following along. To start off, I'll be applying a dewy BB cushion as my base makeup. I'm also going to apply some to my lips because I'll be doing a gradient lip later. Also, my face, neck, and hands are all three different shades of yellow, so please ignore that. Next, I'm going to be color correcting underneath my eyes with a yellow concealer, applying this product with a foundation brush. I have a lot of darkness underneath my eyes, and even doing this and concealer isn't enough sometimes. But anyways, taking a creamy concealer, I'm applying it to my under eyes, as well as any other places where I have redness or blemishes that I want to cover up. And then I'm going to be blending out with a sponge. Then I'm taking a translucent powder to set my under eye area. Using this face powder, I'm setting the rest of my face. I'm then applying a white matte shadow as a base all over my eyelids, and then I'm also applying it to the lower lash line to brighten up my eyes. Taking neutral, a pinky coral shadow, I'm building the color into the crease and also bringing it onto the outer V. Then I apply some to the outer lower third of my lash line as well. Taking the color tone, a wine red shadow. I'm placing this slightly above the crease as well as into the crease and then I'm applying it to my lower lash line. I then took the color Bias which is a light champagne color and blended the shadow so it doesn't look so harsh. Taking the shade Custom, I'm applying it to the outer third of my upper and lower lash line. Next, I'm taking the shade Trend, which is a warm orange-brown shadow, and blending that into the lower lash line. Using this metallic white shadow and a dampened brush, I'm applying this to my lower lash line as well as my inner corners to give my eyes a little sparkle. On an angled brush, I'm taking a matte neutral brown shadow and creating a faint line underneath my eyes to create an egg yolk side or like cute puffy eye bags. I'm then aligning my eyes with the brown gel liner. And then I'm curling my lashes. So I'm only applying mascara to the outer third of my lower lashes and then I'm applying some to my upper lashes. I'm now filling my brows naturally and lightly with a dark grey color. Using a matte rose blush, I'm applying it mostly high up onto the apples of my cheeks and then bringing it upwards towards my temples. I'm 
I'm contouring my nose with a light neutral brown brow powder. To create a gradient lip, I'll be using two lip tints today, but I'll be using the lighter one first. I'm applying this color to the inner two-thirds of my lips, and then I'm using a lip brush to blend it outwards. I'm then doing the same with the darker shade, but this time only applying it to the inner third of the lips. And last but not least, I'm taking a lip gloss and concentrating it onto the center of my lips. So now that you're done the lips, that completes the look, and I don't know, I quite like it. I don't know if it's wearable for every day. I mean, if you tone down the red eyeshadow right here, then I think it's quite wearable. And I really like the gradient lip that I did, but the lip gloss kind of made the gradient lip look less gradient-like. But anyways, um, I just wanted to put a lip gloss over it so it's a little bit more moisturizing for winter time. I didn't really know what to do with my hair, so I just kind of threw it into a very loose, messy braid. And I kind of used a flat iron to curl the hairs that's framing my face, because I have a pretty big face. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, then you can click that red subscribe button below if you would like. And other than that, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.